Hi, good morning. Uh, now I am going to take a seminar on uh, one of the case study uh, title uh, Formation of Functional Nanofiber Fibrous and Polyurethane uh, Sunflower Nemoil for Bone Tissue Engineering. The abstract of the study was Ultrasonic is the emergency tool and a promising method to fabricate polymer nanofibers. The aim of this work was to fabricate ultrasonic polyurethane method re re reinforced with sunflower nemoil for bone tissue engineering. It was confirmed that the fabric novel comforts having better tissue and chemical properties suitable for the bone tissue growth. Uh, what is bone tissue engineering? Uh, the defects, uh, the various, uh, the various defects occur in the bone where tumor ablation, bone cats, osteolysis, and neurosurgical defects. In general, these defects are produced by disease or trauma. The remodeling of the damaged bone is still challenging in clinical applications. Recently, tissue engineering is emergency as a new approach for reconstruction of damaged bone tissue. The reason is that the tissue engineering scaffold eliminates limitations caused by the traditional autograft and allograft. The limitations were uh, cassity of donor infection and immune rejection. Uh, the necessary uh, next you will see the ultra spinning. Mm, the necessary catalyst should be possessed by the scaffold for both engineering where biodegradable, biocompatible, good mechanical properties, and also non toxic. The scaffold produced by the ultra spinning technique have fibers in a nanometric range which look like the native structure of the ECM. Ultra spinning is a versatile and cost effective technique as it involves applying high voltage to the polymer melt, which in drawn in nanofibers are decorated. The ultra nanofibers helps in cell attachment and proliferation, favoring the bone tissue regrowth. Uh, the next we see the materials used in um, this study. Um, polyurethane. Polyurethane is the one of the commonly used polymers in making dressing materials in the form of foams, membranes, and films for bone dealing applications. Uh, the second material used was sunflower oil. The sunflower is a non volatile uh, material obtained from the seeds of Helanthus annulus. Um, the sunflower oil was commercially used as cooking oil and an emo emollient in cosmetic in formulations. Generally, the sunflower oil contains a significant amount of biotic components like vitamin E, sterols, uh, squal and other allopathic colloids which are promoted for its biological functions. Uh, the next is uh, neem oil. The neem oil or uh, marcosa trees are grown in tropical countries of world and they possess better antimicrobial and medical properties owing to various biological constraints such as nibin, nipidin, uh, nibolide and uh, limonites present in it. Further, it was useful in curing the various human diseases owing to its various pharmacological um, attributes. Uh, next, we see preparation solutions. Uh, first, PU is prepared for, uh, for 9 weight fraction. Uh, the next, um, sunflower oil and neem oil also prepared for 9 weight fraction. For making composite solution, um, PU sunflower uh, solution is prepared at a ratio of 7 to 2. Uh, and for PU sunflower neem oil, the ratio used was 7 to 1 to 1. Finding the PU and the PU composition and above obtained using the ultrasonic technique. Uh, the various specific characteristics performed were scanning ultra in electron microscopy, automatic uh, total reflection, 4 year transfer and infrared respiratory analysis, contact angle measurement, uh, thermogravimetric analysis, atomic force microscopy. First, we will see the semi investigation. It was found uh, the addition of sunflower and neem oil reduced the fiber diameter. Uh, PU showed fiber diameter of 890 nm, where the PU sunflower and PU sunflower neem oil showed di diameter of uh, 816 and 739 uh, nanometer. Mm, it was confirmed the smaller fiber diameter will be favored for the osteoblit cell ablation proliferation. The uh, figure shows the corresponding semi image of the PU sunflower and PU sunflower neem oil. The next we will see the FTR analysis. The key peaks in PU were NH, CH, and CO groups. Uh, in the spectra of the composite, uh, no new peak, peak formation was formed, but the intensity of the peak was increased with the addition of sunflower neem oil. Further, the peak suit was also observed in the composites, um, which, con which confirms the uh, presence of uh, sunflower neem oil in the PU matrix. Uh, the figure shows the corresponding FTR curve of the uh, fabricated ultraspun membranes. Uh, next, we will see the contact angle measurements. Uh, it was found that the addition of sunflower oil decreased the vetability. PU that is the addition of neem oil increases the vetability. PU showed a yeah, contact angle of 100 degree, sunflower oil showed 112, and PU sample neem oil showed 61.67% respectively. Uh, the ultraspun ultra scaffold blended with sunflower oil favor the hydrophobic nature, which we indicate by the contact angle measurement. The improved vetability of the PU sunflower neem oil will be favorable for the osteoblet cell adhesion and proliferation. The next we will see the thermal stability. Uh, it was found the thermal stability of the 
PU was increased with the addition of sunflower and neem oil. Uh, PU showed a thermal stability of 277 degrees Celsius, whereas the PU sunflower and PU sunflower neem oil showed a temperature of uh, 287 and 301 degrees Celsius respectively. Then uh, the figures was the corresponding TGI curves. The next we finally we see the surface roughness. Uh, it was found the surface roughness of the composites was uh, decreased with the addition of the PU sunflower, PU sunflower neem oil. Uh, PU showed a roughness of 576 nanom. Mm, PU sunflower neem oil, PU sunflower uh, showed a uh, roughness of 4 in 418 and 4110 nanom uh, respectively. Uh, the decrease it was confirmed. Decrease surface roughness will be suitable for the osteoplex cellulose and proliferation. Uh, the figures was the corresponding AF uh, images of the PU sunflower, PU sunflower neem oil. Thank you.